If you're familiar with the free language Robot Basic, you probably know about its capabilities with animation and simulation and robot control. In this video, though, we'd like to show you a little bit of its more robust capabilities, things that you might find in an engineering environment. In this first program, you're going to see some commands and features that you find in almost no other language. We're going to load a picture into this program. This program is entirely written in Robot Basic. Using the image processing capability, we're going to analyze this picture. Uh, we can change all sorts of things. We can do a statistical analysis and find out the standard deviation of the colors and the brightness. In this case, we're going to do some analysis there. Watch carefully as we brighten the picture, change its contrast. Remember, these are not, this is not a paint program or a photograph program. This is a robot basic program using commands in the language that make it easy for almost anyone to write programs with this kind of capability. Here we've turned it to black and white, reverse the image, reverse the colors, rotated the picture, flipped the picture, Here we're doing edge detection. We draw an object on the screen and then compare the two pictures. Makes it easy to write a program that can track an object because you can compare two pictures and see where the object has moved. Here is converting to black and white and reversing. Here we're changing the resolution of the picture. Imagine trying to do this in even C or C++. This program is difficult to read, but it's demonstrating the matrix operation commands that are built into the robot basic. This next program uses built-in commands to make it easy to perform Fourier analysis. And of course, we're using the graphical capabilities of robot basic so that that analysis can be seen on the screen. A super program to help students learn about things like Fourier analysis. This program is creating a variety of parametric equation plots. In this example, the program is using numeric differential equations to demonstrate a spring. The dynamic equations of this spring include parameters such as velocity and friction and mass. Robot Basic has built in commands to handle statistical analysis, things like standard deviation, linear regression, uh, correlation coefficients. Many things that can be done easily because they're built into Robot Basic. Robot Basic even has built in commands to handle financial analysis. Things like amortization and compound interest are a snap, even if you don't know the formulas. Here is a program that's designed to teach engineering students about quadrature encoders. In this case, it simulates the encoder lets the student choose the number of spokes, for example. They can position the infrared sensors, test things for state errors. This program makes it very easy to teach this complicated process. Notice how smooth the animation is because of the special commands built into Robot Basic.
Robot Basic even includes an integrated robot simulator. This simulator is discussed in detail in our book Robot Programmer's Bonanza, available on Amazon. Here the robot is going through an office. We have a whole chapter teaching the robot how to sweep a floor and work with different algorithms to try to make the robot cover all the areas in this reasonable amount of time. This is a very similar program in which it's mowing the grass. The whole idea is to discuss algorithms in the book. And then these algorithms can be ported to real robots. We have a chapter that shows how to control real robots with the very same programs that we use on the simulation. This program, the robot's seeking a goal. It's going through objects, finding a goal where it just found it. Now, in this case, it's the same algorithm, but we've advanced it to make it charge a battery. And when the battery runs out on the robot, it gets below a certain preset level. It starts searching for the goal. This is marked by a beacon over a line. The robot will use a variety of algorithms trying to follow right and follow left around walls until it finally sees the beacon. And when it does, it'll catch the line and follow the line, which is another chapter in the book back itself into the charger and charge itself. In this case, we're going through a line matrix. Basically, here we're teaching the algorithm used for GPS systems. When we mark two points, it'll go through and find the shortest path. It's like the streets in a road map. Here we're going through a corridor maze. We jumped over, but the robot remembers. So the second pass, it goes through. Let's jump again to the end. But it remembers which turns it makes. In this case, it's a very simple algorithm. It just follows a wall. If you always follow the wall on the same side, you'll eventually get out of any maze, as you see here. Here we're following a line, but not just any line. This is an advanced project in which the line is corrupted with open spaces and loops. This is a very difficult problem for students to work on. But imagine how easy it is for them to do things like this by working at home, not having to construct a robot. And the student schools can have a robot and actually use that later. In this case, we've got an office environment. We're teaching the robot to go to a specified spot from one room to any other. We can use the mouse to put an object in the way. Notice how beacons are coming on throughout the office. And we can put the mouse in the way and act like it's an object, like somebody walked in front of the robot. It will beep, wait for them to get out of the way, and then it will continue on. Here it's docked itself and charging because its battery ran low. This next program demonstrates some simple artificial intelligence algorithms. The robot in this case, it learns by association with the things it sees in the past. It has a variety of, of needs, including sleeping and eating and playing, and it learns to navigate through the environment. And each time the robot memory is erased and you start it over, the robot seems to develop different personalities based on the environment that it grows up in. Remember, even though Robot Basic has powerful simulation commands, it can control real robots too, through the serial port, the parallel port, Bluetooth ports, USB ports, everything's built in to make it easy to do things. If you go to robotbasic.com, you can find complete information about all sorts of things that you can do with Robot Basic. Thanks for watching.